Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Viking Rise on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Viking Rise and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Viking Rise. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we need to launch our main browser. We selected the one we used by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, because there's a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived on this page on the website of Usatility, at which we have a nice meticulous description on the way to obtain Viking Rise on laptop or computer. We browse lower a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we get to the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to get access to that game Viking Rise on our PC. As you can discover from here we access a number of pros of running that emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Viking Rise by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on it. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file. OK, then we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I reduced the web browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is very simple. It includes two choices, install and setup path. I am going to describe what setup path does indeed. We simply just click it. Therefore we discover that we end up with here the path where the emulator is going to be put in. If we have to change this folder we have to click on that, browse, option, so we choose another folder and install the emulator precisely where we choose. I am going to set it as it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore, I pick install. Fantastic. The install commences and it's going to progress together with the download of those MB that happens to be shown on this computer screen. The moment you download it, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed will go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your type of access to the web and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator hosting servers. Today they're going very fast. The download is finished and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it gets into the end, the emulator can be started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator is already launched, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as you understand, it made two software icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the only one we're concerned with. Whenever we would like to start Viking Rise on our laptop or computer, we twice mouse click on this app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me make the next phase, that is a requirement, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented. In this case we have got to sign in. Currently the moment we are on this page, we have to conduct the following step that is imperative. Therefore click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It might from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and so it does not progress. In this case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will surely probably be resolved. At present we shall provide our login name and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email and its matching password. For instance, you can utilize the same exact email you are using currently in your YouTube account. So that I am going to type in my info and I will come back immediately after I have accomplished it. That's all, information inserted. 
Below is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We can consent to all of them by clicking, I agree. Then, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it select it and it will build a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it. You can make use of this option if you wish. We click on Accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the app, we are required to go to the Android Emulator Desktop by left-clicking the app icon designated Green Colored. Currently that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we can see that we come with there the Install Game option. We mouse click on this button. At this point we access to the Android game. Why don't we simply click right here on the Install button that I am just showing now in green color. This will initiate the software setup. At present it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game. It normally takes a little while or perhaps it could also be very fast. It again all varies on our own web connection. This has just ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the following option I'm presenting in green, that allows you to start Viking Rise for the very first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're about to mouse click on that fresh Viking Rise icon which has been generated. Your Android game is launched for the first time. Now there we end up with it, I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the sound level of this emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we are not going to count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is simply the very first one, we mouse click on that icon which I'm designating in green. Then the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If ever we aspire to have fun with the video game using all the screen, we select that icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the video game in 100% screen setting. To escape the full screen setting, click the F11 key. And we might currently end up being in standard computer screen setting. From now, I am ready to demonstrate to you the computer keyboard mapping that is really surprisingly interesting. That strategy we definitely will be ready to operate the game far more easily. The first point is to click on this software icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to complete the required controls. Let me leave the standard settings, though if you need to improve this, you can do so without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. On occasion it happens that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for instance, in Japanese. And as a result to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here throughout many other configurations, we mouse click on the language drop down. We should choose the language we prefer, Italian, Mandarin, and so on. As soon as the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, and the game application, next time we launch it, would as well be in the preferred language. Presently, you will find another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Google Mail telling that a completely new electronic device has been connected to our own Google account. It definitely will check with us if we are the individuals who have associated with that device. That's right, we must not be troubled, because the emulator is emulating a Google Android smartphone or tablet. And in order to identify which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. So we browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we determine that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for this video user demo. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was informative. In this case, give it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and if you have feedback, questions or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You could also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams every now and then, you have it listed below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Click on any of the training videos that are showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming videos. Bye.